Also, Joey Wanapay in the ass we seen for Kachi Kem and Machi Tao no we saw. I'm at number eight, Kaki no more, Philly Kona Tano Kim. My name is Joey Wanapay, I'm the language and culture instructor here at the Nami Trophy School in New the Menominee Indian Tribe of Wisconsin in Kashina held massive electronic and pharmaceutical waste collections during the EPA Great Lakes 2008 Earth Day Challenge. However, the tribe was creative as it added other facets to the challenge like teaching children about its culture and the close relationship to the earth and its many lakes and streams. All classes at the tribal school taught the students about the sturgeon that is a vital part of Menominee legend and heritage. We are focusing our energy and our efforts on the sturgeon. Uh, the sturgeon are a historic importance to our people. And since the beginning of time, uh, our people have relied on for various, various reasons for food, uh, articles, uh, scraping hides. Um, our legends, they are the protectors of our wild rice, our mache town menoma. And the past week, we've been engaging the students, not only in the culture and the language, but the science of it, the social studies of it. We'll have more on that project in a moment. Other tribal projects during the challenge included a collection of unwanted medications and e-waste at the College of Menominee Nation and the cleanup of two reservation communities by tribal school students, the Menominee Teen Court Panel, and many others. The students also whitewashed gang graffiti at a skateboard park, replacing it with American Indian art. One of the major projects during the challenge was to have all classes at the tribal school teach the students about the sturgeon that is a major part of Menominee legend, heritage, and lore. Um, our last department that the students spent a lot of time in was in the mathematics room. Uh, they spent a lot of time understanding the concept of a million, billion, trillion as far as eggs, how many survive, uh, water quality, grass, charts. Um, just the whole realm, we gave the students the, the whole picture, a, a total wrapped up aspect of, of what it is um, for a sturgeon to make their journey, um, how important they are to not only our traditional our traditional community, but also the, the modern community that, that we are trying so hard to integrate. It's so hard for our youth to, to hang on to their history and yet make it in this fast-paced era that they live in. But we as educators, it's, it's very important for us to keep pushing forward, keep reminding them um, keep tending to them, telling them that we care and we love them, you know, to remember who you are and where you came from, but yet you need to look forward, you know, and make your way in today's society, and the way we do that is through education, through Western education, but, uh, you know, it's very, very, very important to, to our youth to remember their cultures, their traditions, and their language. Called the protectors of Menominee wild rice, the sturgeon used to spawn on the reservation until a man-made dam blocked the route so the sturgeon could no longer reach their ancestral spawning grounds. Uh, because of two dams that are in place now south of our reservation, the sturgeon are no longer able to come home here to their ancestral spawning grounds. Earth Week tribal school classes applied subjects like math, history, and others to the different aspects of the life cycle, biology, habitat, legends, current and past spawning grounds, and the cultural and practical value of the sturgeon, an important fish to the Menominee people since the dawn of their tribe. From science to social studies, every topic involved the sturgeon. In the science department, they've been studying the anatomy, the physiology of the sturgeon, getting them to understand it a little bit better. In the language arts department, they were looking at the habitats, what the effects of pollution are. In uh, social studies, they were looking at the different migration, geography, um, the path that the sturgeon used to take to come to their home here, the Namao scheme of uh, their traditional spawning grounds here on the Menominee Indian Reservation. The tribal school students are immersed in Menominee culture and learn to speak the language and its meaning. This was also applied to the sturgeon lessons. And obviously in the language and culture room, I focus on the historic importance, the legends, um, how these things were passed on from one generation to another generation. The tribal school students have access to a vast reservoir of sturgeon knowledge that the elders are happy to pass on. 
and why it's important for our youth to, to hang on to that, to uh, look forward into the future with the knowledge, but yet hang on to their spiritual and their cultural uh, heritage. That, that is so rich. We are so fortunate to have so many elders that we still work with that are able to give us this knowledge and, and carry that and pass it from one generation to the next, despite all of the forced assimilation and the changes and our youth trying to trying to make their way in the modern modern society, but yet integrate the traditions with the technology of, of today's world. This video on projects connected to the Great Lakes 2008 Earth Day Challenge was made possible by a grant from the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency in collaboration with the EPA's Region 5 office in Chicago, the EPA Great Lakes National Program Office, also in Chicago, in cooperation with the nonprofit Interfaith Earth Healing Initiative in Marquette, Michigan. The Earth Healing Initiative involves American Indian tribes and a coalition of churches, synagogues, and other faith traditions joining together to heal, protect, and defend the environment. I'm Greg Peterson, and you're watching Earth Healing TV.